Hello and welcome to Only Connect. I'm often asked why we never have a team of top criminal barristers on the show. Well, the answer is we did once and it was a legal minefield. Beginning of round one, I asked what connects these four apparently random things. One of them buzzed in and said they're all clues in round one of Only Connect and insisted that was worth five points. Beginning of round three, I casually asked, can you solve the fiendish wall? Another one of them said, probably not, and demanded the full ten. Both incidents are still rumbling through the courts, costing millions of pounds in legal fees. More easygoing teams here tonight, and they are on my right. Tim Robinson, a keen traveller who lost the tip of his middle finger when he was bitten by a dog while delivering leaflets in Richmond. Rob Butlin, an advertising cost coordinator who's beaten George Best in a game of pool. And their captain, Terry Pret, a former bookmaker who's been mistaken for an Australian. United by their interest in space travel, they are the Apollos. Terry, you won your last match, but you had a tough wall. You didn't get the trifle group. Yes, trifles and cats was... Uh, we had a bit of trouble differentiating between the two. At the beginning of your last match, you made yourselves six to four to win. What's the price tonight? It was six to four again. Six to four. Always a safe bet. Good luck. This time you are playing on my left. Bagwan Manku, a dentist who was once stuck in a lift with six boxes of flip-flops. Laura Miles, a hotel housekeeping manager who, after a year of learning to play the guitar, can play one song. And their captain, Paul Mackley, a civil servant who's been described on Twitter as a poundland Gary Bushel. All music lovers, they are the jukeboxers. And very impressive musically, you got in your last heat the combine harvester question that I thought was the worst of the series so far. Are you fans of the Wurzels? No. That particular song, obviously, now. This particular game is a rematch. These two teams have met before. What happened last time? Um, we won it on the final round. So we were behind the first three rounds and then won it on the last one. So I think we just felt we had pressure off us going into the final round. So we'll see what happens. Let's see if you could pull victory off again. You'll need it this time to stay in the competition, as will you. Let's play the quiz. Jukeboxers, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, two reeds, please. Two reeds. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Around that time. Next, please. Next, please. Oh. Strauss. Yeah. Oh, Strauss. Why do you sound gloomy about that correct answer? Because in the second guess, I thought it was Andrew Strauss who was the captain, and I was I'm in an R in between Strauss and Vaughan and... Andrew Strauss, that England captain. Who are the other Strausses? Johann Sebastian yeah. Strauss, maybe. That's a composer. Johann is the famous Strauss, but actually not any of these Strausses. It's Richard Strauss, the composer of Salome. Author of Xenophon's Socrates is Leo Strauss and the founder of the jeans company, Levi Strauss, of course. Well done. Apollos, what would you like? Horned Viper, please. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Connor, Connor, I'll see. Next. LC60, isn't it? Yeah. Um, e, hang on. E, F, E, E, F, R. I think we need another one. You're shifting the letter, aren't we? But... First of fourth. Yeah. Right. H, O, H. So, uh, taking away the H, yeah. Next. South China Sea. Yeah, so taking away the O, the H. Just taking those H's out, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, removing O's and H's yeah. from the um, from the clues gives. Um, water, I need to hear water. something specific. Well, you're taking out one O and two H's. You're taking away two H's and an O, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going to give it to you, but I think you're missing the full beauty of this question. Water is H two O. <laughs> From each of these clues, we're removing two H's and an O. So if you take out H2O from Loch Rannock, you get Loch Rannock. Two H's and an O from Horseshoe Bay, Firth of Forth and South China Sea. That is why it is two H's and an O. But you found the answer, so you get the points. Well done. Jukeboxes, what would you like? 
Uh, lion, please. Lion. What connects these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. There's 50 of each. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Apollos, do you know? That's what we were going to say. Um, stars. Vietnam has a star on its flag. Tuvalu has stars on its flag. The stars on the Brazilian flag represent the states of Brazil and the stars on the American flag represent the states of the US. That's exactly it. Stars on well flags. There is one star on the Vietnamese flag, but its five points represent the traditional Vietnamese classes. Islands of Tuvalu. Well, actually, the name Tuvalu means eight together because there were eight populated islands, but actually nine islands altogether and nine stars on the flag. Brazilian federative units, do you know how many there are? It's about 27, I think. Well, it's exactly 27. It's the 26 states and the federal district and, of course, 50 states of the US. Stars on the flag. Well done for the bonus. And what would you like for your own question? Water, please. Water? OK. The H2O question will be yours. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Deep well, broad wood, broad wood, wood or power plant. Yeah. 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 All right, let's move. Next. There's a lot of people that could be, isn't it? And it's before Are they kind of gate, anonymous well? people? People who didn't reveal their identity? Could be. Next. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, are we talking about the one this year? Yeah. Probably. Oh, no, that's much Martin Luther King uh, or Malcolm X. Ah, it's X. Why is it Next. X? Yeah. Is it? Two seconds. X. Not the answer, I'm afraid. Jukeboxes, do you know? Something to do with a first lady. Not it. This is something that was done by one person. One person helped expose oh. the Watergate scandal and received the Medal of Honor from President Johnson and spoke at the March on the Pentagon and taught Elvis to dance, and that person was? Forrest Gump. Forrest oh. Gump. Oh, Not a real person, a fictional person. But in that film, of course, he's put into all these situations. The life and times of Forrest Gump. You knew it, but a little too late for the points. Next question then for you, jukeboxers, what would you like? Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. It's the music question. What do these clues have in common? Here's the first. You are the one. It's under. Only you yeah. need the Next, moon. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Two seconds. What do you think? Night. Yeah, um, times of the day. Night. Not it, I'm afraid. Apollos, do you know? We think it could be lines from a wedding vow. Yeah, that's not it either. So you recognised... In sickness and in health. And you recognised... Oh, Night and day. day, the Night Frank day. Sinatra. Oh, None of you recognised... Hunting think, high and low. Hunting high and low. And the Venga boys up and down. Oh, it's just opposites. Oh. It's simply opposites in the title. Couldn't think of the answer. That's all it was. To cheer yourselves up, who can think of some words that sound like they ought to have opposites but don't? There's ruthless, but no, no ruthful. Disgruntled. Disgruntled, Disgruntled, exactly. There's no gruntled. To say like dishevelled, there's no shevelled. Those are unpaired words. Apollos, the Eye of Horus remains for you. What is the connection between these picture clues? Here's the first. Is that horseshoe horse falls, falls or horse church horse falls? Or is it just yeah. Niagara? Next. No, it's not Niagara. Um, not I recognise. Next. That's New South, South Wales. New South Wales. New South Wales. Are they new something? 
in this or South Wales. Or South some. South of Wales. Yeah, I'll just wave. <laughs> Next. <laughs> That's. Ooh, which station is that? Is that Victoria? Hang on. Oh, oh Victoria. That's okay. not New South Wales. That's Victoria. Victoria so, yeah. These things are all Victoria. They are all Victoria or named after Queen Victoria. Yes, it was once New South Wales, but I think uh, it was around about 1850 that uh, it separated off to become its own colony. Uh, Victoria Falls, and what's at clue two? Not sure. It's the Victoria and Albert Museum, <sighs> all named after Queen Victoria. Well done. That means at the end of round one, the jukeboxes have one point, the Apollos have three. <laughs> Time for the sequences round. Jukeboxes, what would you like next? Water, please. Water. What would come fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, it's, yeah, it's Death in Paradise. It's Death in Paradise. Who's doing it at the moment? Little is the right answer. Yes. And why is that? They're the office involved. I've never seen it in Death in Paradise. That's absolutely right. Starting with Ben Miller, who was the first star of Death in Paradise. And who are the other actors? Chris Marshall, mm -hmm. Ardell O'Hanlon, mm -hmm. and Ralph Little. And Ralph Little, who had actually been a sort of guest star in a previous episode, a different role, but came back uh, as the central character, oh, Neville God. Parker. Apollos, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this picture sequence? Here's the first. Toe. Yeah. Where did the little toes go? It's little piggy. Yes, went to the little piggy, went to Marcus. He's at home, stayed at home. It's the second one, isn't it? He stayed at home. Next. Elbow, give you the elbow now. No. Toe, elbow. It's probably some song, isn't it? Looks from some song. Heads and shoulders. Oh. It's head, knee. No, it's not head. Next. Okay. Harrison Ford says. And solo. Han solo. Han, Han. Han, Han. Han, Han. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Careful. It's a picture of a male chicken. Yes, it is. Nice picture of a male chicken. For what reason? Tony Hancock. Exactly so. And I think Han Solo chosen carefully there rather than a picture of a hand as, as we used to play it at school, <laughs> but it all works. But no, it is clues to that great comic actor, Tony Hancock, and a rooster at clue four, to the relief of many. Jukeboxes, what would you like? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Business. That is not an acceptable answer, I'm afraid. Apollos, do you know? Um, E.g. Choral. Would be the most obvious one. And why? Well, the unfinished symphony, the best known one is Schubert's eighth. Mm -hmm. Leningrad must be the seventh symphony from someone and Pathétique must be the sixth. Uh, yes, and that's exactly right. Whose sixth symphony is Pathétique? Tchaikovsky. It is Tchaikovsky and Leningrad, the seventh symphony of... Maybe Prokofiev? Shostakovich. And so we are looking at 6th, 7th and 8th symphonies. I want to hear a ninth symphony. And the most well-known would be Beethoven's ninth, known as the Choral Symphony. Well done. And your own question, what's it to be? Lion. Lion. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. So it's an eye, which is eye as far as I can. Next. Yeah. Emmanuel Kent, no. Um, Next. Okay. Does this, does this, 
It's not Lincoln or Washington or something, is it? Isn't Bark mm. Kingdom? No. Uh, isn't Bark Kingdom? No, it's not. Um, who grew up on a famous farm? Donald? Washington. Uh, no, it's not. Right. Um, Clinton? Okay. I John President, wasn't it? Um, I K E. Jimmy Carter. A few seconds. All the times run out. Jukeboxes, do you know? I'm just going to guess K Home Planet. It was sort of close in a way. Uh, you're, you're thinking of Superman, are yeah. you? Yeah. I'm not sure the other clues quite fit. Have a look at these letters. What are we spelling? I K E. Oh, hey. oh. IKEA. IKEA. Why is IKEA called IKEA? After these aspects of the founder, Ingvar Kamprad. I for his first name, K for his last name, E the farm he grew up on. That's right, Elm Terred. And then A, his hometown. I'm going to go with Agunarid. My Swedish is a little rusty. Spelling out the name of IKEA. It names all of its, uh, all of its products after things, apparently, I'm, I'm reading here. The furniture is named after Swedish place names, we know. The chairs after Swedish men's names. And it's curtains after Swedish women's names. <laughs> Jukeboxes, what would you like next? Two reads, please. Two reads. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Is it time numbers? Next, please. Thirty-one, twenty-nine, twenty-three. Tell me something 19. else. The prime numbers, so the lines are through the middle. Of through them. the middle of them. I'm going to take it because I let your opponent stumble towards H two O earlier without knowing exactly why. They are all prime numbers. The reason some of them are crossed out is because the ones that aren't crossed out are those where the digits are themselves primes. Uh, so there are only four two-digit prime numbers where their constituent parts are also primes, and those are 23, 37, 53 and 73. So we're crossing out the ones where the digits themselves aren't prime numbers. One question remains, the Horned Viper, that will be for you, Apollos. What will come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Mm -hmm. One in Florida, come in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Next. What's why, why the numbers? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, well, yeah, it's zero, E, G, Y. X, X, Next. X, 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 Russia, Albania, Germany. What are we getting here? R, A, G. Why numbers? Time, time. Zero, e.g. London. I'll take that. I mean, can you be any more specific? Well, the numbers are going down. <laughs> we have specifically said Greenwich. Okay. Does that help? Yeah, so it's a time zone. It, 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 it's to do with degrees east. St Petersburg is 30 degrees east going down to 20 degrees, Tirana, 10, Hamburg and zero, Greenwich, but London would also be that many degrees east, so it fits the sequence for them. That means at the end of round two, the jukeboxers have five points, the Apollos have eight. <laughs> Tony Hancock, it's time for the connecting wall. You'll be going first this time, Apollos, would you like lion or water? We'd like water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the water wall, starting... Now. What's an Irish lumber? There's a rice potato. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. I thought there was a chicken on there. There's this type of chicken, cock, pullet, chick. Garlic and apple, desire, rose yeah. and apple. Yeah, enjoy that. Rooster. Rooster. Is, is rooster and apple? Um, hit some apples. Gala, uh, ro rooster, I think, and Charlotte. Bowler, I think, as well. Charlotte and... Charlotte. 
No. Well, there's chickens, there's types of chicken and hen, aren't there? There's chick, um, hen, cock, and rooster. There's probably another yeah. one. Okay. Uh, try hen, try oh, hen. Pull it, pull it's also a chicken. Yeah, like that. All right. Um, George Sand. Um, no. Uh, Sand Storm. Yeah, sand, it means blacken. Heraldic. Cockpit, sand pit. Three pit. Three pit. Right, well done. Right, okay, so apples, Gala, Desiro, Rooster, and Charlotte. I don't think that you tried those four. Just try those four. Right, okay. So there's a fifth apple. I bet that's the Irish lumper, as you say. Um, just keep trying them, keep trying them. Um, Fox. Yes. Well done, good, right, okay. Fox and Bing. No. Um, Chicken. Pull it. Hang on, Gala, Tombolo, Foxy, and the, the, the bingo. Um, bingo thing. Yeah, Foxy yeah. Bingo. And Mecca. Go Mecca bingo. Gala, yeah. Tombola and Mecca. And the, other, and the others are poultry, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You've solved the wall. Very well done. And what about the connections? We'll start with the first group, Beginning Cock. That's um, Pit. Yes, it is. Cockpit, Sandpit, Armpit, Flea Pit. And the next group. Remind me. Apples. This is apples. I'm afraid it isn't apples. Potatoes. Not pom, but oh. pom de terre. They are potatoes, desiree, charlotte, and so on. And the next group, containing perhaps the word that threw you towards apples, but isn't in that group, gala. Mm. This is uh, bingo. They are all types of bingo establishment. And the next group, chick, hen, broiler, and pullet. Po poultry. They are all types of poultry. So you found all the groups. You gave me three of the connections. That's a total of seven points. Well done. Let's bring in their opponents, give them the other wall, and see how they get on. Welcome back, Jukeboxers. You have two and a half minutes to solve your wall, starting now. This could be um, greater, Champions League wins. Greater Antilles, Greater Spotted Woodpecker. Yeah. Uh, greater Mag, I don't know, is that the Magpie? Um, um, these are Champions League winners, I think. So okay. Whichever way it is. Um, a, 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 re, real, maybe? It's real, we have it. Yeah. also Borussia. Yeah. Why, you know, Let's try a, 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 a Just try a few Why things of that. Um, Damon Cameron without a scene. Um, Evil Live. Um, Damn Game. What's that? I don't know. Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. Um, oh, well done. OK, so, what else could Ajax be? Twin. Evil twin, evil Lebna, Mag, Inter. Something Inter, so it would be part of a word. Yeah. Ah, oh, is Dameron supposed to be Cameron? Is it change a letter to get something? Yeah. Uh, May is one different from Mag. Yeah, so yeah. May, Cameron. Oh, Prime Minister's, isn't it? Yeah, um, with a letter changed. Perkins, the Porkins, I don't know. Um, uh, no. There's Able. a greater spot of woodpecker and there's a lesser. Is there a Skywalker. lesser something? Inter. Lesser, there's a lesser evil. Yeah. So lesser evil. Lesser until he's got lesser spotted woodpecker and... Lesser scoring woodpecker. Hair. Hair. Hair maybe on that one. 30 seconds. Oh, internet, fast net. Internet. <laughs> internet. Magnet. Magnet, Magnet. yeah. Yes. Um, so let, let's do the. Let's do let's do lesser on evil Antilles and spotted woodpecker and think what the other three so could yeah, possibly again, evil. be. Evil Antilles, spotted woodpecker, lesser it's, Skywalker. Yeah, think Ten it's seconds. Be Skywalker and the other one's a word one. Lesser. Lesser Porkins. Try lesser. Try Dameron. Yes. You've solved the wall. At the last go. I've got work at why now? Very well done. <laughs> what about the connections? Tell me about the first group starting real. They are the first names of uh, Champions League European Cup winning football teams. Exactly, so it's not real, but Real, Real Madrid, Olympic Marseille, Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund. And the next group starting fast. It uh, could all be, uh, they will proceed net. Yes, they can. And the next group starting number... You yeah. change, change the letter and you get um, something to do with Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> you're fumbling around it. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid you're trying to do two things at once. 
they are all pilots from Star Wars. Oh. But you don't oh. change a letter. No. It, it, it is a pilot called Number and a Porkins, and it doesn't really seem real, but they are. And Skywalker and Dameron, all characters, specifically pilots from Star Wars. And the last group, so I think Ajax or Ajax. Or lesser. lesser. You can have lesser, although, as you said yourself, you can also have greater. They're comparatives, greater and lesser, and Tilly, Spotted Woodpecker, and so on. So you solved the wall and you gave me three connections. That's a total of seven points. Let's have a look at the overall scores as we go towards the final round. The jukeboxers have 12 points, the Apollos have 15. So in we go to the final round, the missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers teams, I can tell you that the first group of disguised clues are all foods which contain coconut. Jukeboxes. Bounty. Correct. Don't know this one. It's a Boston bun. Next clue. Jukeboxes. Peshwari naan. Yes, it is. Jukeboxes. Lemington. Not it, I'm afraid. Apollos, do you know? Mm. Lamington is the Antipodean cake. Next category. Characters called Bucket and what they're in. Jukeboxes. Charlie Bucket and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. Correct. Jukeboxes. Inspector Bucket and... No. Too long, I'm afraid. House. Apollos, do you know? Inspector, Inspector Bucket, Bucket and Bleak House. House. Yes, it is. Next clue. Apollos. Hyacinth Bucket and Keeping Up Appearances. However you pronounce it, yes. Next clue. Jukeboxes. Richard Bucket and Keeping Up Appearances. Well done. Next category, words that are considered unparliamentary language. Hooligan is the first one. Next clue. Swine. Too late. You missed the opportunity to shout swine at me. You can do it afterwards in the bar. That is the unparliamentary language. But the bell has gone for the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. The winners with 17 points and still in the competition are the Apollos. Very well done. Jukeboxes, you finished with 14, but I must say, Paul, I like your style. You play how I would play. Buzz in, give it a go. You might <laughs> drop a point, but that's better than remaining silent. It's been lovely to meet you all. Thank you so yeah, much for your you. appearances on the show. Have a good trip back. Before we go, I've had uh, a lovely letter in from Elaine Digby in Skegness. She writes, Dear Victoria, love the show. Uh, you and your contestants must be the cleverest people on TV. In fact, you're so brainy, I've got a question for you. Where have I put the oven gloves? I had them last night when I took the lasagna out, but now I can't find them. Well, Elaine, how about the drawer under the oven? P.S. Thanks, Victoria. That is where they were. My word, you're so clever you could answer this in real time. Glad to help. Good night.